will call the meeting to order. I'm going to ask Dr. Bridget Williams if you would open up for us, please. And welcome, school board member. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Good afternoon. Board members, we will review six policies this afternoon. Policy ADD, Policy JB, Policy JLD, Policy JLF, Policy JLI, and Policy JLIB. At this point, Attorney Brooks will review the timeline and provide an overview of the purpose of the workshop. Attorney Brooks. Good afternoon, board members. Uh, the purpose of the revisions for these policies are as follows. Uh, we're providing a uniform and systematic method, sharing compliance with all applicable federal, state laws, four state board of education rules, board policy, administrative rules, and proceedings and guidelines, and promoting transparency and accountability. Uh, these policies have been vetted through cabinet. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought it was on. I apologize. You like, would you like me to go back? Yes. Okay. Um, the uh, policies were discussed in cabinet on April 10, 2017, um, are here before you tonight, uh, the rural development workshop on April 27, 2017, and um, pending uh, outcome will go up for, uh, for board approval on May 23rd, 2017. Um, I will send it back to Dr. Williams. Thank you. The first policy will be reviewed by Mickey Joyner, Dr. Carl Cartwright, and Attorney Jared Brooks. And they will review policy ADD Safe Schools. Thank you. Good afternoon, school board members. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Uh, this is policy ADD, uh, Safe Schools. Our purpose, updates to the bullying and harassment and teen dating violence or abuse procedures, sets forth procedures for investigation and consequences of bullying, harassment, teen dating violence, abuse actions. The action summary, revisions have been made to the existing policy language to include content, formatting, and terminology edits consistent with statutory language. Our current policy does not include cyberbullying as a term definition under bullying. To the revision to the policy, it will include detailed definition of the term cyberbullying and all references applicable to the term throughout the policy. Our current policy does not include additional definitions as defined in Florida statutes. The revision to the policy will include the additional definition reference in section 815.03 of the Florida statutes. The revision will also include the addition of the new OCPS Bullying, Harassment, Incident Reporting, and Title IX Grievance Form. Dr. Williams? Thank you. School board members? Let the record reflect with, um, with Ms. Nancy, right, that the, um, what board members are present and not present. Yeah, I know we don't do a roll call. Uh, board members, I'd like to know what is your pleasure. Do you want the staff to go through most of these policies and then re allow the chairman an opportunity to arrive? Or do you want to discuss them as they go through or allow them to go first and get through all of them and then go back on them? What is your pleasure? I'd rather, I'd rather deal with them one at a time so we're not going back and so Let's get this one done and then move to the next. Okay, so staff, you understand how we will be doing with all, so many of these policies this morning, this afternoon. So, Dr. Jen Dr. Dr. Jenkins, Dr. Bridget Williams, if you would just keep us on task with that, that would be um, very helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, are there any discussion on this? Okay. So can we probably do you all, um, are you asking, uh, sitting in the role of the superintendent, are you asking the board for consensus on the changes? Yes. Okay, do we have consensus? Yes. Okay, with all nodding, then we may move on with this. We have consensus on this. Thank you. Uh, second policy? Well, Dr. Williams, just for, for input, so for the rural development workshop, public comment um, is um, oh, thank well, it's you. open for public comment, so we'd have to okay. make room for that. Okay, uh, anyone in the audience, did they, we do? have the yellow cards, if you would see Miss Nancy on the end. All righty, you can fill out a card. Are there any cards? No. All righty, thank you so very much. We will move forward. Okay. 
thank you all. That was quick. <laughs> Try to keep them all quick. <laughs> 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 Okay, the chairman is now in here, and we just completed one task for you, very minor, very minor. And we did get consensus on that, and Ms. Williams is going to introduce the next one. Right <laughs> they always tell me whenever I'm not here how much better she does than no. me. Anyway. <laughs> well deserved. You're doing great. All right. Dr. Williams. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. The second policy, policy JB. Equal Educational Opportunities, Attorney Jared Brooks. Good afternoon, board members. Uh, again, this school board policy is school board policy uh, JB, Equal Educational Opportunities. Uh, the purpose is to provide updates to the district non-discriminatory student policy as it relates to equal educational opportunities and student grievance and complaint procedures. Um, the action summary is that the revisions have been made to the existing policy language to include content, formatting, and terminology edits consistent with statutory language. Uh, the current school board policy uh, does not include definitions and procedures for investigating allegations of sex discrimination as required by Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972. Uh, the revisions to the school board policy will include uh, apl applicable sex discrimination definitions and aligns the sex discrimination investigative procedures with the bullying and harassment procedure outlined in school board policy ADD. Uh, the next change to the current policy um, is the current policy designates the EEO officer to address matters of student discrimination. Uh, we will revise this policy to replace the EEO officer with the equity officer um, and include the Title IX officer and the Title IX coordinators in the appropriate places. And um, currently I'm serving in the role as the equity officer and the Title IX officer as well as the EEO officer. Um, however, the the roles have moved from departments. At one point, the Title IX officer was the athletic director, um, so we just want to make sure the appropriate title is used in the appropriate context. The next uh, change to the current policy is the current policy establishes just one investigative procedure for any allegation of discrimination. Uh, we are making revisions that will establish procedures on investigating allegations of sex discrimination and a procedure for investigating allegations of discrimination based on other protected classes. Um, and lastly, uh, there will be addition of the new OCPS bullying harassment incident reporting and Title IX grievance form. Essentially, we're merging the forms into one um, as the process um, is aligned, um, as I explained earlier. Uh, Dr. Williams. Chair. Hi, board members. Has any member of the public come to provide any testimony to us today with regard to proposed changes to policy JB? Yeah. All right. Dr. Williams. Thank you. And the third policy, policy JLD, guidance program. I'm sorry. Yeah, everybody fine with those proposed changes? All right. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to review uh, the policy JLD, guidance and counseling. This policy governs the procedures relating to the progress for pr providing student services. Revisions have been made to the existing policy language to include content, formatting, and terminology edits consistent with statutory language. The first change is the name of the policy. It has been changed from guidance program to guidance and counseling, which is consistent with the NEP and classification system. The next change is clarifying that the district will develop a written plan for providing guidance and counseling to all students in Orange County Public Schools. We currently have several different documents that explain how we provide counseling and guidance to students. These documents will be combined to create one comprehensive plan. Dr. Williams? Thank you. Chair? Hi, right, board members, questions? Um, has any member of the public come today before us to testify with regard to proposed changes to policy JLD? Seeing none, board members, you all okay on this one? Yes. All right. Dr. Williams? Thank you. And the fourth policy, policy JLF, reporting child abuse, abuse, ch abuse child protection, Leanne Blackmore. Good afternoon. Policy JLF's purpose is to govern the procedures relating to the reporting of child abuse and child neglect. 
as with the other revisions this afternoon. They include um, content, formatting, and terminology edits consistent with statutory language. With respect to the policy itself, um, updates have been made to the relevant Florida statutes regarding specific authority and then other minor language changes including the change to the name of the department responsible for investigating. Thank you. All yeah. right, board members, any comments, questions? Does any member of the public come to testify today before us with regard to proposed changes to policy JLD? Seeing none, board members all good with it? All right, we're all good. Dr. Williams? Thank you. The fifth policy, policy JLI, Mary Bridges, represent student safety. I'll now review JLI, student safety. This policy establishes procedures for student protection and precautions relating to student health. There are very minor language changes. It does now state that the school district shall provide protective devices for employees, students, and visitors when engaged in activities listed under the eye protection device law. Those would be activities where there may be flying particles, molten metal, liquid chemicals, acids, chemical gases, or injurious light radiation. Dr. Williams? Thank you. Chair. Sure. Questions, comments? All right, has any member of the public come to tell, testify today for us with regard to proposed changes to policy JLI? And I think I misstated the last one. The last one was uh, JLF. Okay. Anybody on that either? All right, seeing none. Everybody okay with the proposed changes to JLI? All right, Dr. Williams. The last policy, JLIB, dismissal, precautions, Dr. Carol McGowan. Thank you and good evening. The purpose is to establish student dismissal precautions, and again, it's a revisions have been made to existing policy language to include content formatting, terminology edits, and consistent with statutory language. If we look at the first one, the inclusion of emancip emancipated minors, currently we do not have a release authorization for these minors. The new revision policy does include that so that the emancipated, boy, that's a bad word tonight, I'm sorry, emancipated minors to be released without the parent or guardian consent. The next one includes unaccompanied youth. These are the youth that come under the McKinney-Vento Act, and currently we do not have anything in our language for those students. In this revision, it includes authorization for students who are unaccompanied, as defined by McKinney-Vento, to be released without parent or guardian consent. And the name of the policy right now is dismissal precautions, and it will be changed to student dismissal precautions. And if there's any update to the statutory authority, it will be shown within the policy. And our next step, I'm sorry, that would be Dr. Williams. I'm concluded with that piece. <laughs> You want me to say this part too? Sure. Okay, on behalf of all of us who have shown you policy changes, our next steps will be the revision to the internal procedures and any training necessary for internal OCPS employees. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. All right, any uh, comments, board members? Seeing none, um, any member of the public come to testify today before us with regard to proposed changes to policy JLIB? Seeing none, uh, everybody okay with those proposed changes? Yes. All right, and um, Ms. Gordon had pointed out that um, we have been briefed on these individually prior to this meeting today, so if it seems like there's a lack of questions, it's because we're already all familiar with what has been proposed. Dr. Williams? Thank you, and that is it, sir. Oh, God, this is beautiful. Is that it? Are we done? <laughs> yes, yes, sir, Chair. I yes, love sir. you guys. Okay. No, oh, <laughs> darn it. I'm, I'm, I'm teasing. Yes, Do you really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> 17 minutes. That's a record. 